Hey, 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 this is the Boat Doctor. Hey, I went through this video once, but by golly, I did something screwy. I wasn't recording it, evidently. Anyway, this is a 22-foot hardtop Seahawk North River 2018. Beautiful boats. That hardtop, you gotta love. It's got, uh, it's an 18 by 42 degree hole. It's got an 80 gallon fuel tank in it. Uh, it's kind of nice with that uh, 84 inch bottom as well. Uh, there's rear deck light rocket launcher, sea glazed door, rear deck steering. That's hydraulic for the main, which is nice if you ever hook up autopilot. And I've been trying to push these. I'm just starting to think you can start using these cameras that they got one front, one back, uh, because then you can see what's ahead of you if it's clear. You don't really need a FLIR camera that way. You can put it right on your screen back there. So then if you had autopilot, you could sit in the back on a lawn chair. You could see what's in front of you, put a target on your radar, and then look at your GPS and your camera in the back on a split screen. Uh, and then a wireless remote for your auto, and you got everything. And the Garmin's such a good product. I really love the Garmin. The, the techs love them too. They're so easy to install. If they hook, everything you got is plug and play. It's not all this setup. So I, for the... Most of the people, this is the way to go. They use Garmin and airplanes. Uh, I would highly suggest them. Uh, they're a lot easier for me to set up, but they're bulletproof. And if you ever have a problem, you call up and I can talk you through these pretty quick. The other ones are a little more difficult. So if you like high tech, get the Samurad and the Ray and the Fruno. If you really like high tech and you're pretty knowledgeable. Okay, two by six bunks. You got strakes. Like I said, it's 18 by 42, 84 inch bottom. You got tall windows, good visibility, good wipers, window stops, boom, boom. You got LED lights, uh, Garmin 18, radar, uh, sharp entry to this, shallow deck, which you want. You don't want a deep deck because you don't want water in there. But most water that comes in here is going to hit and go out, so you'll have very little coming out the dual ports. <laughs> you got your um, diamond plate for anchor if you're pulling up an anchor. This does have bow rails, <coughs> handrails for the top, nut holders on the side. You got your two speed. Golden jack, which I like, they don't rust on you. And you got the two inch ball with this pink poo hole, so you, you see your ball underneath that little hole, you know it's on right. Put your latch down there, it's got a little pin for that. And they're pretty well lightweight, I think about 2,900 pounds, I think, what they weigh. Uh, and they're uh, North River is a good boat, one number one resellable boat, swing tongue. Uh, trailer brakes is right uh, under there, you check the fluid, you pop it out, that thing's got to be pulled ahead. And there's a rubber cap popping up to see if she's full. Okay, gear bath oil hubs on this baby. Shine guides. Shine runs on the shine guides. Teflon. So you don't rub them uh, like carpet on the side of your boats. And then brown is good. White's bad. Disc brakes. ST205 and 5R14. 50 pounds. A tire pressure, 80 pounds. Uh, port. And then you got uh, trim tabs. Uh, the boat really probably don't need them too much. 99 high thrust you got a 250 v6 a 14 by 7 on the yamaha rebel stainless steel uh there's pros and cons on st stainless you can ask me if you want the only way i'd really run stainless basically is on the v6 motor with the bigger gear case uh so, because they're pretty hard on your gear case on the smaller motors but anyway they work uh and the 703 is for this little kicker motor so you can still steer it and control it because that is a hydraulic which, like I say, it makes it better if you're ever going to add autopilot. Uh, remember, cameras, radar, autopilot, wireless, and the camera in the back, you say you're tuna fishing, right? You can angle back, you can keep an eye on the hand lines on the turn. You don't have to twist your neck. You can just look in your screen up front, as well as in back. You can see what's in front of you. So it's not a bad idea. I got, got, got the Garmin 52 or 54. I'll have to see when I turn it on. Zinc. You got zincs inside the motor. Zinc's on the outside, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft on both of these, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, rear entry door, uh, brown's good, white's bad, bunks two by six with flex, heavy duty, got a nice garment in there, uh, and then I'll show you the rest, it's got a nice stereo, stereo speakers light up and all that good stuff, so now I'm going to take you to the water, I've already did this once, but now I got to do it again. So I'll see you on the water. This is the boat, Dr. Out.